You're listening to a Dell Studios production, yes? It had been a long day, yes? I'd taken out a contract with Josiah W. Dogbolt, 20,000 credits to scale the TARDIS, and an extra 20 to kill the Doctor. Kill two birds with one stone. Or one bomb, yes? That's what Dogbolt were secretly strapped onto me under the guise of a travel device, to get rid of me, too. These days, that wouldn't have happened. I've got my Vortex Manipulator now, but I was still early on in my career at this point. I was, however, rescued by the very man I'd taken a contract out of. The Doctor was not what I was expecting. He was a short man wearing a tan coat and a hat with a red band around it. His trousers were beige and checked. His white shirt and maroon tie combo looked a little scruffy, and this was all tied together by a questionable knitted pullover vest covered in red question marks. Not exactly the height of fashion, right? Once I'd materialised inside the TARDIS, he quickly realised our predicament and set about trying to unclasp the bomb from my bag. He tried just about everything, but finally we got it off and left it as a present for my employer. He's going to be needing new headquarters, yes? Right, now let's deal with let's deal with you, Death's Head, shall we? It's me who should be dealing with you, Doctor, yes? After all, I've still got a contract out on you. Oh really, Death's Head? I've just saved your life after all. I suppose fair's fair, yes. Good, good. Now, where can I leave you? Where you'll cause the least trouble. Ah yes, that'll do very nicely. In that case, you'll need this, and all of the other weapons you can muster, as I don't kill easy. He threw me my blaster, the one he very quickly confiscated during our initial introductions. Scowling, he turned to walk with the TARDIS. But just as he was about to put his key into the lock, he stopped and turned to face me again. Another thing, you may live for a thousand years, but there's one thing you'll never learn. Oh? Like what? How to change. But I changed my clothes yesterday, look at it now! Ruined, yes? I've got a good mind to send you the dry cleaning bill. I mean how to grow. How to really change on the inside. That's not change, that's just falling apart. You're wrong. The one thing we organic life forms have over you is change. Evolution. A thousand years from now, we'll be different. But you'll be the same. A thousand years from now, I'll be rich. You will be dead. Now tell me who's better off, yes? You're doomed, Death's Head. You're just a machine, a tool. Nobody needs you. He shook his head in disappointment, let himself into the TARDIS and disappeared. Good riddance. Hmm, maybe he's right. But who cares? I'm back in the game, yes? I looked around. I had no idea where the Doctor had left me, but it sure as hell wasn't home. It was a rooftop of a large building, fairly old by the looks of things. Off in the distance I could see a sign. It was mainly covered by bushes, but I could make out one word. Unit. Now why did that ring a bell? Ah, this could be problematic, yes.
You have been listening to Death's Head, The Beginning, starring Reese Dell as Death's Head and Wink Taylor as the Seventh Doctor. Written, directed, and edited by Reese Dell. Adapted from Death's Head, issue 8, by Art Weatherall and Steve Parkhouse. Archive music by Paddy Kingsland. Produced by Dell Studios. <laughs>